Hello and welcome. We're going to start with a breathing exercise. Go ahead and come to your feet, hands in front of the chest, and here we go. And let it all relax. Last one. Breathe and reach. Exhale and relax. Very good. Go ahead and give a little bit more bend in the knees. Arms are heavy at the sides. We're going to move into our gates of heaven. Starting to move through the hips. Let the arms swing into the body. Good. Time it with your breathing. Hi, Shirley. Nice to see you. Good. Let's go 10 more seconds here. Very nice. Hand on the hip. We're going to go into a side stretch. Let the hips swing to the side slightly, reaching up, peering up to the hand. Take one breath at the top and then come out of it and switch sides. Hand on the opposite hip. Gently let the hip shift to the side as you reach up, peer up, breathe, and relax. Very good. Once more each side. See if you can reach just a little bit farther second time. Good, and switch when you're ready. Very nice. Just long reach and let it go. Very good. We're gonna go ahead and stand in kind of like a stagger stance. Let's have your right foot forward, left foot back, and then take your left hand. You're gonna make nice big sweeping circles, turning the palm away from your body and then towards the body at the leg. As you come up overhead, turn it away. Try to reach long, just opening through that chest. We'll go about five on each side. So here's number three. And four. And last one. Very good. Walk the feet in. Let's go some hip circles next. Hands on the hips. Go ahead and circle the hips around. Good, and switch directions when you're ready. Nice and smooth. Very good, then we're gonna switch sides. Step your left forward, your right back. Same idea here, nice big sweeping circles opening through the shoulder and all through the side of the body. Palm towards you at the bottom half of the circle and then as you come up overhead, start to turn it away. Connect with your breath as you move, breathe in as you reach up, and exhale as you circle down. Good, about two more. And last one. Very good. Come back to center, feet a little bit wider than the hips. We're gonna bring the arms out to the side, moving into some windmills. So slight bend in the knees, hinging at the hips, reach towards your opposite leg. You can start about knee height and then just look to go a little bit farther each time until you find that spot that you're like, all right, that feels about right. And then stand from there. Good job. Focus to engage those glutes as you stand tall, shoulder blades back and down. Nice, get one more each side. Very good. We're gonna be working on a little bit of balance next. If you wanna balance on a chair or stand near the wall, we're gonna start on your right side, taking the arm up in the air, and we're gonna bring the elbow towards the same side knee. So if you're good without the support, you can put the opposite hand on the hip or feel free to use it for balance. Reach tall and long, down and in. Good job. Get a few more here. You really wanna pay attention to that support leg, to hold strong through the hip, lifting up through the core so that hip doesn't kick out. Get about one more. Very nice. Hands on the hips. Let's kind of just rock the hips side to side now. Just a little give in the knees. Excellent. There you go. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. Standing tall, reaching up, elbow towards the same side knee. Reach long, down and in. Good. Go about 30 seconds, about 10 reps, anywhere in there. Right, pulling up nice and tall through the core. You want to like, like you're trying to stretch your head towards the ceiling. Okay, 
fantastic. Good, a few more. And if you can't quite get that knee and the elbow together, not a problem, just come as close as you're comfortable and rest, fantastic. All right, next we're gonna go feet come a little bit closer. So about just underneath the hips, chin towards your chest, and then staying engaged in your legs and core, you're gonna start to uh, slide the hands down the legs. And then waking up the back side of the body. Then when you get to that bottom position, if you feel okay to hang out there for one breath, breathing in the back of your rib cage. And then when you're ready, start to reverse it, tuck the hips under, start to make your way all the way up. Very good. If you want, you can reach up to overhead once more, engage the glutes and just try to look for the ceiling or sky above and behind you. Very good. And then we're gonna do that one more time. So chin towards the chest, take your time. To be about the only time that we kind of talk about rounding the back, but you're just kind of using this to wake up the spine a little bit, those different segments. One big breath into the back of the rib cage in the bottom, and then we'll start to tuck the hips under and make the way up. Very good. This time, instead of arching back, let's go hands overhead, or you can go on your shoulders as well, and you'll rock side to side. There you go side to side, and then we'll do a couple rotations. Not force anything, just kind of look over the shoulders, rotate side to side. Fantastic, all right. That knee to elbow that we did to begin with, now we're gonna do that same idea, but going to alternating opposite knee to opposite elbow. So we're gonna go about 45 seconds here. Get the right side to meet the left side, or as close as you can, left to meet the right. Good for our brain health. Keep one side talking to the other, that cross crawl pattern. Very nice. Just make a point to have yourself set well before you move into that opposite side. Continue to lift up through the core. Very good. Beautiful. Let's go about another 20 seconds here. Breathing and moving. Very nice. All right, once more each side. And bring it down, shake it out. Very good. All right, so our first piece today, you can either come down on the floor, I'll show it there first, or we'll be elevated. We're gonna be doing like our quadruped or like a bird dog, where you're gonna stretch long and then bring the elbow towards the knee under the body. I encourage you, Hold those in position. So two to five seconds here, two to five seconds here. So either on the floor or you can use a bench or a chair and you can do either just the leg towards the same side elbow or if you feel sturdy to include the opposite arm then it would be similar to what they're doing down on the floor with the opposite arm, okay? We're gonna be working for 45 seconds on one side. Then we're gonna do a couple rotations for the mid back and we'll switch sides, do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna do it twice on each side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and demo the first one elevated and then I'll take it to the floor for the second round. All right, let's grab a quick drink and then we'll go here in 10 seconds. So if you are gonna get on the floor, go ahead and get in position. I guess I shouldn't tell you to get a drink and then get into position. I'll give you a little extra time. We're gonna go here in another 15 seconds. If you're waiting to start and you're standing or seated, you can go behind the back. And we're gonna start with our right arm and left leg, or if you're only doing the leg, just focus on that left leg. All right, go ahead and get in position. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and begin. You can go just the leg or add the arm, looking to hold between two and five seconds at each position. And our focus here is not to lift that low back arch, keeping the hips and shoulders square. Especially if you're on that single arm support, you wanna really lift up through that shoulder, holding strong. Engage that glute as you reach long. Almost there. In and hold. Extend and engage. Do it about one more. Two one and rest good so you go if you're on the floor you can stay down there 
you're gonna do the rotations. We're gonna go hand behind the head, elbow towards the opposite elbow, rotate and look up towards the ceiling. If it bothers you to bend over at all, you could also do this seated. So if you wanna give that hinging position a break, you can also go here. Let's go five on the right. We're just gonna do the right side and then we're gonna switch to the left arm and right leg. And then we'll do the left side. All right, folks, switch sides. And two, one, and here we go. So it's gonna be left arm, right leg, in and together, extend and engage. And remember you can totally support, keep the support on both arms. It feels a little bit much to be on one. Elevated or down on the ground. Hold that belly button in, holding your pelvis square so you don't arch the back. Getting those glutes to fire. Good job, 15 seconds left. Continue to breathe and focus. Very nice, two, one, and rest. Good job. Come up out of it for a second. Either stay down or come seated. Now on the left arm, five rotations, elbow towards the opposite elbow or thigh, lifting up, peering over that shoulder. In and rotate. Or seated if it feels better. Good. All right, after five, take a short break and we'll get started in round two here in 10 seconds. So you're welcome to stay elevated or I'm gonna join the crew on the floor. All right, so we're going back to left leg, right arm. Two, one, and here we go. Stretch it long, good focus. Holding two to five seconds each position. Breathing. When you extend that leg back, it's like you want to try to think about reaching your foot to the wall behind you. Continue to lift up through the shoulders. Nice job, everybody. 10 seconds left. Two, one, and rest. Good job. We're going to go rotations on the right. You can stay down here. If you want to do it seated, I'll show you there. So you're just simply going to go hand to the opposite leg and rotate, looking over that shoulder. Five rotations. Nice work. Very good. After you finish those five, we've got one more set of these knee to elbow exercises, and then we'll be all done with this first circuit. All right, go ahead and come into position. So now we're on left arm and right leg. Two, one, and here we go. Extend out. Pausing in the in positions. And as the leg extends back as well, try to have the toes pointing down towards the floor and not winging out. You need to watch to avoid any arch in the back. Doing great, 15 seconds left. Breathe and lengthen, good strong positions. Two, one, and rest there. Good job, and just rotations on that left arm. So either seated or in this bend over position, elbow to elbow, rotate, try to peer over that shoulder. Five here. Exhale as you open. Inhale to close. 
Very good. All right, nice work. Let's go ahead and stretch out the neck a little bit or just get some mobility there. So we're gonna go chin towards the chest. Hands over the collarbones, give a little like downward tissue pull and then gently look up towards the ceiling. And go twice more, chin towards the chest. On this one, if you want, you can gently put the hands on top of your head and just very gently like fingertips, give a little over pressure, feel the back of the neck, get a little stretch. And then again, hands over the collarbones, peer up. And one more cycle, chin towards the chest, sitting nice and tall. And cross the hands over, look up. Well done. And then we're gonna give a little bit rotation as well. So we're gonna look over the shoulder, two fingers up on the cheekbone. Encourage that rotation, holding for about five seconds. And then we'll come back to center and switch. Look over the opposite shoulder. Three times each side. Go ahead, switch when you're ready. And as you're looking over the shoulder, you can kind of notice what's happening to the opposite shoulder. It's like pull it back and down a little bit, make sure it's not rounded forward. Just get a little bit more out of that opening position. Very good. And then just kind of rock the head side to side, ear towards the shoulders. Very good. And on this one, if you want to give a little overpressure here, excuse me, instead of just kind of hanging on your neck here, instead I like to think about sitting tall, pull that chin in, and then try to bring your chin towards the opposite collarbone. And now we'll give a little overpressure there. So it's not directly on the side of the neck, but more towards the back and the side. Your traps and all those muscles come up and they attach along the side of the spine there. So a lot of times we'll hold tension. So we'll switch sides now, chin in, Really exaggerate how tall can you sit. Bring that chin towards your opposite collarbone and then give a little overpressure here. Fantastic, once more each side. If you wanna add, you can also sit on the palm up, kind of trap that hand down and then same idea, chin to the opposite collarbone and then you'll feel just a little bit more of a stretch when you Pull that shoulder blade back and down. Again, be delicate with these. Good job, and then we'll switch sides. Again, palm up if you'd like to add the hand, shoulder blade back and down, chin towards that opposite side. Very gentle. Our neck has a lot of delicate structures in it, so you wanna treat it nicely. Very good. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and wake up those shoulders just a little bit more. We'll roll them up and back. Fantastic, and then say hello to your elbows. Twist them around, rotate them around. There you go. And reverse directions. Nice. All right, very good. So if you were gonna just do a little bit of twist for the low back, if you wanna lie down, you can, or join me, I'm gonna show it seated. And then we'll get into our next circuit. All right, so sitting, if you choose, on the edge of the chair, you can keep the legs flat or you can cross the leg over. You're gonna use your hand on the opposite thigh to kind of help pull you into a little bit of a rotation. Same side hand to the same side shoulder. And now we're gonna go shoulder rolls about 10 times, like you're trying to trace a nice grapefruit. I'm in peach country now. Maybe it can be like a nice big peach that we're drawing a circle around that. Getting some rotation through the spine. Very good. After about 10, we'll go ahead and switch sides. So again, you're welcome to keep the feet flat if that feels better or the side you're stretching towards, you'll twist that, pulling yourself into it. Hand to that same side shoulder, peer over that shoulder and rotate that elbow around. Moving through the shoulder about 10 times. You need to sit tall and twist into it as you're rotating. 
and 10. Fantastic. All right, everybody. If you'd like. Thank you so much for showing up. We appreciate you being here to move your body.